I love that Lucy is so desperate for it. Mm. She wants it to be real and to work so sincerely, you know, and she's she's so on the brink and she wants it so much and she wants so much for him to really have some insight and some answer. And I, oh I found that I found that quite moving. I was thinking about enlightenment. <laughs> I was thinking about um I don't know how hard it is to get <laughs> and yep. and I really wanted to see um a woman Lucy it was always, it, always in my head that there was this woman who desperately needed to escape her life and it was and it was coming from like something really real and earnest because she could feel how the narratives that she's living are crushing her mm. and she wants to get out from under them and i wanted to see what would happen if she, instead of being crushed by them she sort of crushes everything else and you mm. know for a moment that feels like freedom too but then in the wreckage is this one story that won't actually let her let it go because she's not the only person in it and yeah. it's a mm. it's a it's a family story it's a mother daughter story like you she's she won't be released from that one mm. quite yet i always knew that someone w should really want to play lucy and also it would have to not really be lucy <laughs> because um i don't know how it would have gone down i, I really <laughs> wanted somebody who had um that like one foot deeply grounded in this strange real world and then that ability to kind of like touch the the other like the ethereal and I just I feel like you've always had that in everything you do like fantasy you ground it you make it feel like immediate and here and you also elevate the 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 sort of normal life or whatever I'm still a little in shock like all of this I'm still a little in shock that you know that we've got to find each other because I think you're just extraordinary I think you're extraordinary thank wow. you it's funny because I think that she's very complex as a mm. character so i think that people read different things from her and in her yeah. and and respond to her in very different ways so i'm not sure that i mm. fully interpret her exactly the way that alice interpreted her or thought about her she starts but to i belong to you no like i don't even know anymore but <laughs> I, I when i first read the script i was um i was so deeply impressed and surprised by it i it everything that i read felt entirely new and its own thing and i was really uh intrigued by the tone or many tones and how for me they all worked together in the way that life is really messy it felt like something is really you know there'd be moments where something felt really cutting or painful and then wildly absurd you know and and um and i loved that and was really charmed by it and i loved the opportunity to spend time with a character you know who you meet and you kind of go i kind of like <laughs> repulsed by this woman <laughs> who be is behaving like this and i really wouldn't have made this if i didn't feel like there was actually something um beautiful mm. and true about mm. it as well like i think that because we're humans we need space to be able to roll our eyes and have like a sense of humor about <laughs> trying to mm -hmm. to work on ourselves but i have like i don't think we should stop yeah. <laughs> i think we should you know mm. didn't i tell you like just be as enlightened as possible <laughs> yeah that, that was the note <laughs> 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 because, be we, because we know each other, <laughs> I knew that that would be. Yeah. A, I just wanted to <laughs> see what what that would look like. And also, it's so ridiculous that it was a good place to start. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Definitely. Like, yeah, you, you did good. <laughs> you just sorry. <laughs> You're beautiful. <laughs> when I first started working on it, I thought this is so daunting <laughs> this woman and who she is i just started by thinking honestly i started in a really basic way of thinking about what she wanted what she mm -hmm. wanted all of the time what she really wanted on the deepest level what she wanted in particular moments it's really basic stuff that's one of the main things about her she thinks she is a different very different person than she actually behaves like mm -hmm. uh, cuz i think she wants so much to be the source of love and mm -hmm. to 
transcend what happened between her and her mother and give, you know, be a good mother for her daughter. But she sits so much in fear um, at, that she, it gets in the way of her love. Thank you.